length in our backswing. So often we're told to swing out very, very wide. And all that does really strain the back and it makes it very difficult to get into the correct position of the top after swinging out really wide. So there's just a simple exercise that you do to lengthen your backswing. And it's very similar to something that the professionals do. You'll see them working the backswing to take away to get the right elbow moving in the right direction of the backswing to get the hands working. And, and all you do is you do that same exercise, but from there you just do one simple thing. And all it is, you just work the left side of your head. And you'll see players, even when they're just doing the little half, half swing, they'll work the left side of their head. But what you do from there, when you feel the club moving to the target side of your hands, that means that the club is, getting, is nearer to the um, target than what your hands are. When you get to that position there, what you just simply do is you work the left side of your head and from there you just press down with the left side of your head and you'll, feel, you'll find that that automatically causes your shoulders to turn. The left shoulder moves around when you press down with the left side of your head. Pressing down the left side of your head causes the left shoulder to move around without actively trying to turn it around. So often we get into that position and if you do get into that position halfway back and then you and to and it comes naturally to you, or second nature to you, to try and to try to turn the left shoulder around. That can be a sign that you've been taught the wrong technique. And so often we were taught things years ago, and we've become conditioned into our swing. We can't even remember how we worked on them in, in the past. So really, you, sh you should feel as though you don't need to turn that left shoulder around once you get into that position halfway back. And you just the focus should be just on working on the left side of the head and the back swing will automatically complete itself. Just get into that position there and then just really working the left side of the head. So, that, so there you're conditioning everything to work freely. And that's virtually no effort at all, no conscious effort with the arms or shoulders from second half of the back swing. So, so then you should feel, really feel that loosening off your sh left shoulder and also you'll feel the left shoulder joint tightens in its socket. Well that's what you want at the top of the back swing. The shoulder has to relax so that the shoulder joint can relax and, and really stretch inside the socket and that helps the left shoulder to unwind the start of the, start of the down swing.